All right, so we're back at the old farmstead for round two. It's me and Tom out here. We found another structure on the old maps that uh, we never put eyeballs on yet. So we're gonna detect our way over there and um, you know, maybe it's something cool. We'll let you know. Well, this is my first target other than a couple square nails and a mason jar lid. It's brass. It appears to be some type of, type of buckle, maybe. I don't know, I thought maybe it was like a suspender buckle or something. It's got a hook on, or yeah, like an eyelid on it, so I don't know what that would be, but... I don't think it's like a matchbook tin or anything. There's some brass buckle some sort all right let's keep digging well i'm not too sure what this is but it has some writing on it it's really hard to make out definitely been in the ground a while <clears throat> something grade i see the word wood and grade down here and r-a-n-c-e-s g-e-s ranges yeah, ranges. I don't know. Cool. So I got back to uh, where that other structure was. Here's some busted up foundation. It looks a uh, almost looks older than the other one. I'm gonna swing around here a little bit and see what's around probably some square nails those are everywhere around here go swing by that big rock over there oh oh boy I'm just got the first coin out of here this sounds exciting is it silver is it silver penny size Penny size? That might be a button. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Well, that's coin size. Let's get this on camera. I don't know, man. Mm. That's coin size. You want a toothbrush? A teeth brush? Where'd you find it? In the foundation. Did you? Yeah. That's where they're. Yeah. More food food. It might have fire damage because I'm pretty sure that place had a fire. I think it did. There's a lot of springs that are matches springs. And stuff. Got some green. Yeah, that's another foundation back here. It looks like it might have been like a barn or something though. Yeah, it's really dark. It's like nickel size. Yeah. It's kind of corroded like a. Like it was in a fire. Yeah. It was laying next to a bunch of junk. Was it? Yeah, springs and cables and yeah. Hmm. Let me, can I see it? Go for it. Let's chew back in when we uh, figure out what this might be. I don't know if we're gonna be able to ID this in the field, but it's a pretty, looks like a pretty thrashed out coin nickel size so maybe it's a uh maybe it's a, a v nickel or something my suspicion is this place had a fire just based on all the debris we've been finding the way it, it uh appears to have been burnt so this was in the foundation like it fell through the cracks into the cellar and probably went through the fire so it wouldn't surprise me if it's um unidentifiable but Hopefully we can do something with it and try to try to get an ID out of it later. So definitely keep you folks informed on that. All right, so I'm getting back in the relic territory as the wind picks up. Check it out. I think that's a silver plated uh, knife maybe. Butter knife, yeah, several plated. 
cool. That is pretty sweet. Look at the uh, designs in the handle. Let's, uh, let's clean that up. It looks like there's a guy, like a, like a fat man. There's a fat man uh, in the handle. Butter eater. That guy's definitely a butter eater. Awesome. I see you around these parts again. I'm going to take you out to lunch. And you ain't going to like what's on the menu. Tom's over here excavating the whole cellar. Got me some silver. Oh, yeah? Silver plated. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. That's old. That is. A butter knife. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that pretty cool? You want me to butter your bread? <laughs> That's an old piece of broken glass. Look how thick that is. On the corner over there. Broken? Broken. And yeah. Then there's a bunch of down there. That's a pretty freaking old one, man. That's cool. Yeah. Tom sessing out the new uh, simplex. Well, it's not new. It's new to him. That's his uh, first machine he bought. Chose wisely from uh, what it sounds like. Oh yeah, dude. Check that out. An old razor. That is cool. In the foundation. In the foundation. Awesome. Yep. That was over where you would think the bathroom to be. Well, yeah. The outhouse, in house. Yeah, it was right outside of it. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it is cool, and it's cool where you found it. Yeah. Tom actually just dug a bit. That's pretty cool, actually. I've never found a bit like a complete one. I found rings and whatnot, but that's pretty, pretty awesome. I found a full one over there. This. You know what it is? What? It's a window weight. It's a window weight? Really? I think so. Or for a grandfather clock weight. Well, window weights are these big, like, so it could be for a grandfather clock. Yeah. But window weights, they were, like, real heavy like this. I found that one over there, and I found the other one in the foundation, the, the full-size one. In the really? Foundation. Yeah, it's on the it's on the wall. I put it on the wall. Yeah, they're window weights. Really? For really, before they, they had electric before they had electricity the windows were so heavy they'd open them and they had weights to pull them up really? but you were lifting them really yeah they did have electricity here later on i found kind of it. did you yeah it was, it was right next to the window weight all right well i think we're gonna wrap it up here um we got another old house about two miles from here that uh it was 1850s built around the 1850s and they farmed it up until like 1970 so i'm assuming we're gonna once again be sifting through all the iron targets and just trash so oh yeah and i found these sunglasses i know i forgot to turn wind mode on again on my camera so i got my back to the wind hopefully it doesn't ruin this video but you wonder why i bring a backpack here this is all the iron we pull out tom got a full window weight too but i mean there's piles of iron mason jar lids little 410 shotgun shells i actually know the guy who used to pheasant hunt back here but we're gonna go up to another spot so here's here's the iron clean out that's cool huh I turned the wind mode on, but we got, we're got we fighting the wind and we got the highway way out there in the background, but this is right where that home used to be, right in this area. Tom's hitting up the hill over there. He got some signals, so I'm gonna start where the house was. So this is actually the very first target I dug. Not exactly sure. So it's like a Maybe it's part of an old lighter. I don't, I mean, oh, an oil lamp. That's what it is. Here's where the wick came through. And here's a, a wheel to adjust the wick. And it still moves. <laughs> awesome. Like you see where the house was, you got uh, like some tulips growing there and some over there that got yellow flowers on them. 
you see the plot where the house was. Oh yeah, you're in a good spot. Yeah. I see it. That's from the game though, it's not an actual horseshoe. Right, there's no holes, nothing. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. There's still a swing on the tree over there. Is there? Yeah, the chain's hanging. Did you go underneath it? Yeah, nothing. What, but, what's, uh, where's the button at? I think it's a button. It looks like a button, don't it? Like a large button. Yeah. Or something that would go on a saddle or something, you know, like a... Uh, a rosette? Yeah. That's probably what it is. I think that's what you got is a rosette. Rosette, yeah. It's got like a star in there, like a... Yeah. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. Well, I'm getting back into a little bit older stuff. Unfortunately, where the front yard of the house would have been, um, it's mainly all backfill. So when they tore this place down, they just backfilled it. And any goodies were probably buried about three feet underneath all that stuff. So, but I'm in the backyard where Tom started pulling some relics. And this, it looks like a heel plate, but it doesn't have any holes in it where they would nail it to your boot or your shoe. But I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it definitely has some good patina to it. So let's keep on going. Here we are again getting to uh, some of the older stuff on the backside. It almost looks like a little mini fishing reel, which is funny. I mean, you'd think it wouldn't, but then you got this piece right here where it would, you'd tighten it onto the rod. There's some letters on there. I thought it said something, but I'm, I'm actually pretty sure that's a little fishing reel maybe. Oh, it's got a heart on it. Yeah, there's a heart right there. That's pretty cool, though. You want me to buddy your bread?